reload super quick as well. Can use the shield, because why not? Get the bleeding going there. <laughs> Anybody else? Oh my god. It's just so satisfying to play this gun. Like, it's just such an amazing gun. In today's video, I will talk about the amazing exotic raid pistol called Regulus. I will tell you how to get the gun in a step-by-step -step guide. I will talk about the gun in general. I will show a build for it and I will also run a heroic solo mission with live commentary. If that sounds interesting, then let's get started. So let's just start with like how do you actually get the Regulus. So Regulus is an exotic pistol tied to the new raid Operation Iron Horse. So you have to complete the raid once to get the first project connected to the quest. So after you completed the raid for the first time, you will get two new projects where you need to turn in a full set of each raid gear set being the healer and the tank set. You can farm all pieces in the open world using the loot target farm except the chest and the backpack which are raid only. You can only get gear sets once a week from the bosses so having multiple characters will help. You can also share those items with your friends though, so that could help it speed up a bit. And that's also how I helped Frack a bit, so you would get it quicker, so I could make the video today. After you are done with those projects, you get a new project that requires you to hand in materials from the raid and some specific brand set items. The brand set items can't be crafted items or unnamed item. So it have to be a normal brand set item that you haven't crafted. So just do loot target farm for those in the open world and keep doing the raid for the materials. The materials only drops once a week as well, so this quest is kinda time gated. When you turn those projects in, you will get the last quest which actually are the exotic components itself for the gun. So each boss plus the last box will drop one component each. So you basically do the raid once more and you turn it in and you will get the gun. I have heard that this haven't been 100% consistent, so maybe you have to do it more than once. I think it depends when you turn in the last project and activate the last quest. So make sure you turn in the projects before you start the raid if you can, because they have to be on the first raid run of the week. But that's basically how you get it. Now let's take a quick look at the gun and a build. So if we take a look at the actual pistol, it looks pretty damn good. You can see here. Pretty, pretty good. Pretty good looking. So pistol damage of course and then headshot damage as the attribute here. And the talent called Regicide I think it's called. <laughs> headshot kills creates a 5 meter explosion dealing 400 weapon damage and applying bleed to all enemies hit. So the explosion goes from weapon damage so explosion damage is not gonna work here. And the bleed you will barely notice though but maybe sometimes you will. In terms of uh, weapon mods here we got the 20 accuracy muscle here and 10 reload speed mag. So we take a quick look here. This works extremely well with the headhunter, of course. And we're gonna be hitting pretty hard. Let me put... Let me put up this here. Combat info, damage numbers. You can see pretty, pretty hard hitting here. 13 million. And look at that reload too. Like this gun is so satisfying to use. So if we take a look at the build here. You can obviously set up this a bit different. But this is what I'm going to be testing with in the video. So mask wise I think there's no other better choice than the punch drunk. You get the 20 headshot damage. Which is the unique thing. Like higher headshot damage than other. And yeah 20 pistol damage from DH. And this is a named mask. And yeah I'm going to be focusing on headshot damage and weapon handling. Which makes a lot of sense for the pistol. Also do have the chain killer chest here. Which is uh, Walker Harris and company right. With the headshot damage and weapon handling once again. Headshot damage here. Perfect headhunter which is really important to make this just one shot like crazy. Then the holster. I know some people like to go dodge the gunslinger holster. But I don't think it's worth it if you're going to mainly be using the pistol. Which is going to be the case here. So I'm gonna use uh, another Walker and Harris instead for the damage to armor. Weapon handling and headshot damage. You can of course go like something less, like Seska, but the build is more focused on headshot damage and weapon handling and not too much crit. So 
backpack. Uh, Providence backpack for the headshot damage. Same thing here. We don't have weapon handling here though, but yeah, we have the crit chance. And weapon talent, I actually do a wicked, which actually works pretty well with the exotic pistol because of the bleed damage that you can get there. You can, of course, use uh, Vigilance here as well, which works really well if you use the shield, especially if you use the Bulwark shield, right? For the gloves, using the Contractor gloves for the damage to armor, also weapon handling here as well. I would rather use the headshot damage though, but I actually have those. So yeah, you can definitely use the, the headshot damage there instead. But damage is most likely gonna be enough anyway, so having weapon handling is really good for this gun. And then we have the Fox Press here with damage to target out of cover and the headshot damage. So pretty straightforward here with the with the build. I'm also using Gunner because it's it just really good for PvE. We shake through Gunner here quickly. And since you're gonna kill a lot of uh, NPCs at the same time, you're gonna get a lot of armor from that. The reload is nice as well. And it's just, just a good one in general, right? And of course, gotta put in the, the pistol damage there. In terms of skills, I'm gonna be using Revive Hive, like usual, and then a shield. I'm gonna try to not run too much with the shield. I think we're gonna go Bulwark here. But only use it when I have to. We'll see how that will go. But yeah, that's basically one of the builds, right? So not focused at all on crit chance or crit damage or so all headshot damage focused. 60 accuracy for the stability, 30 weapon speed, like 30% weapon handling, which gives a lot of stats there. But yeah, you could definitely, like as I said, swap Wicked to Vigilance. But I thought it would be interesting to try Wicked as well, because that's what Fryko had here. Even though we can just swap the gift here, but playing solo, you can still get shot in the back, so yeah. But I don't think there's too much more to talk about. So I think we're gonna hit Lincoln and I'm gonna do some live commentary over it. I'm actually pretty excited to, to test this gun out again. So let's just hit the Lincoln up here and see what it goes for. Okay, so I have a Heroic Lincoln here, which is one of my favorite missions to run. I think it's really good to benchmark. So I'm gonna try to not use the shield too much, even though shield is really good, but you're just so slow with it, right? So we will see how this will go. I probably will overcommit a bit. Haven't played much Division lately. But holy shit. We did miss there. So this is like all about momentum. We could like use the shield here. And yeah. Get the bleed there. So probably something you can keep in mind is to look at my buff, right? The bleeding buff. From the backpack, right? See how often we will get that triggered. We did lose it now, but of course you can use Vigi. But yeah. Boom. Reload super quick as well. Can use the shield, because why not? Get the bleeding going there. And of course, this is the the struggle with this since it's headshot damage build and headhunter is if they have armor and helmets, right? That's when it's not going to be that good. And when you run from like out of combat, you see that the, the headhunter talent goes down. You can swap to like this gun right here and you will keep the stacks up and then you can swap back. And you see I keep all the damage as well on it because the Virginian, Virgi Virginian have a lot of damage, right? But damn, dude, this like makes me kind of want to play some more division, man. Because just because of this gun, because it's so fun. It's so fun. I decided to give uh, some of my parts to Fryko so I could borrow his account, though. Because I'm not in a hurry. Like if I can just go on his account and check it out, that's all good, right? So that's the downstone right there. So yeah, I'm not sure what I think about the backpack talent. I probably would use Vigilance instead. So you want to make sure you actually hit the shots that have Headhunter buff. So we can get it from this guy. I feel like this build lacks a little bit of damage. 
because I feel like Immediate medical assistance needed. I feel like I do want to one shot the reds at least so maybe put away some weapon handling Put away some weapon handling for more headshot damage. Now that can't be all of them. So you at least can one shot the, the red star. Even though it shouldn't matter that much, you know. One shot or two tap. So I forgot to swap my gun here, but it doesn't matter. You go on the reds first, right? And yeah, I definitely won't have enough damage there to one shot them. Even if I don't have the buff, right? That's something I would like to, to fix. So we have the downside. What if we shoot that guy? We're gonna put the bleed on that guy and he probably bleeds out, yeah? Does he not? No, he won't. We lost the headhunter buff there, but we got it again. All good. But a really satisfying gun to play. And we're gonna swap the gun here, we're almost losing the buff, we swap to the gun there, get the full buff again, swap back. So we keep Headhunter up even though we're not in combat. DC 62 detected. Can do it again. Isaac just ID'd those shells. Copy that. So if you know the spawns, this is extremely good. I think one of the coolest exotics in the game. For sure. You can see we're keeping the wicked up now quite a lot. I mean that's probably why okay, that's why we don't one shot sometimes, right? Because we don't have Vigi. That I'm so used to having. And we don't have wicked up all the time. So I, yeah, I would definitely like I would run wicked and uh, I would run vigilance instead, I think. Just gives you more damage to get the headhunter up. In the end, it doesn't really matter too much. I mean, I think both are viable. Forgot my buff here, but we just two tap these. Okay, that was a one tap because it was a shotgunner. Oh, I missed that. Really fast reload though. Because of the weapon handling. <laughs> Anybody else? Oh my god. It's just so satisfying to play this gun. Like, it's just such an amazing gun. If you like going for headshots and you like head... If you like going for headshots and like one-shotting, this is just it. Amazing. That should keep them from getting more of those mortars. I'm not sure if we can one-shot the bosses with this build, though. I think we can. If we didn't miss like that, should have make sure I hit the shots. Because I wanted to, wanted to one-shot that guy. Because I don't think we can without the full buff. No, we can't. Because you need to build it up a bit. But I kind of suck. Maybe if I die here. Okay, I think I'm gonna die here. Because I wanna... No, that wouldn't work either. I really wanted to one-shot the bosses. If I let him revive, that could be it. Because we need to build up the headhunter damage. No, that was not it either. But I did one-shot that in PTS. I mean, it is definitely possible. Actually got exotic. Party grade. But yeah, I guess we could go some crit damage and then that's easier to achieve. But yeah, that's basically it. Super satisfying gun to play. Definitely worth to farm for. And I'm gonna like do my one I'm gonna do my weekly raid once a week to get this one. And yeah, we'll have this one probably next week. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video and thank you guys for watching. And if you are interested in more Division videos or other videos as well, make sure to hit that subscribe button. See you guys in the next one.